get the honor of telling my version of the story of how Lance and I met. And I'm pretty excited about it because it was during a time in my life that I knew what I wanted in life and knew where I was going, but the only part that was missing was finding the right person to spend my life with. So how did I meet Priscilla? It's an interesting question. Um, I remember, I think, a little bit differently than she does. I met her two times before we officially met. We also matched on a dating app, which she refuses to acknowledge. So apparently in the previous years, I had met Lance two times prior. Just going back to the beginning, the way that we met is we had one friend in common, Victor Oki, who was my RA in college and worked with her at Johnson & Johnson. And I would say it was probably around 2014. Uh, we were at a bar, Kung Fu Saloon, for all you Uptown Dallas lovers. And she showed up with him and I think I just like, passed her by, and I saw that she was with him, and in my mind I was like, who is that person? And for about the next year, I would not stop bugging Vic about it. We had this running joke, and I would always say, in my life though, that girl is up here. In my life, though? <laughs> What's going on, man? How are you? About another year passed by, and I ran into her again, again with Vic, at uh, um, a Baylor watch party. And she might not admit it, but I was, I was feeling a little something coming from her end. I was in a relationship with somebody else, and so it was kind of one of those things like, Hi, I'm Priscilla, and just talk to that person and just kind of move on. So it wasn't like I was looking. So the time we officially met was in April of 2016. And I hadn't seen Vic in about six months, I would say. And I was just driving from my apartment to the gym, had the windows down and I was on my way to the gym and I get a phone call from Vic and he says, Yo, man, you looking good in that car. And then one Saturday evening, my good buddy, Victor Oki said, hey, haven't seen you in forever and we work together. <laughs> so um, he said, I'm gonna be at the Henderson Tap House with some friends if you wanna meet up. And I thought, that's perfect. Like, I'll come by and say hi. And he said, hey, well, let's go over to Hen Henderson Tap House. So, we were just at Henderson Tap House, same kind of thing. There was probably about 10 people with us. And all of a sudden, we'd been, we'd been hanging out for a couple hours, feeling good. And he said, hey, by the way, my friend Priscilla's coming. And I said, am I alive though? Um, went to the Henderson Tap House to meet up with Vic. And that is what I thought was the first time meeting Lance. So, I'm not sure what happened. I obviously said something good. So, um, got to hang out with Vic and Lance and a bunch of other friends and we were grabbing some drinks and, you know, just spent the entire evening together and had an awesome time talking and dancing. I actually, side note, I thought Lance looked a lot like a Jonas brother. <laughs> and she kept saying I looked like a Jonas brother, so I had that going for me. Um, at one point I started dancing. So I may or may not have snapchatted him that evening um, dancing to like Cake by the Ocean or something like that. Oh, 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 oh. Can't even feel. <laughs> Can't even feel. <laughs> What's the black one? I thought he was the fourth Joe bro, if you know what I mean. So anyway, from then um, we started talking after that evening. After that night, we were texting back and forth. This is this is a little book that Lance made for me for Christmas one year. And so it's awesome because it captures our texts like from the beginning of when we first met, probably for like six months or so. I was 
great at texting. Let me tell you, I've gotten significantly worse since then, but at the time I was on point. I had some great text to get her to come out with me. One key moment that I wanted to point out was kind of the comment that was the beginning of everything. So let me tell you, April 26, 2016 at 7.13 p.m. Lance texted me, all right, I think I've stalked you enough on Insta. Want to grab dinner tomorrow? <laughs> so basically that was the beginning of us going on a date and um, we went to Sushi Zushi. And I was just blown away from the beginning of, I don't know how, how open and honest and just caring of a person that she was. But we had great conversations and it was just one of those things that like the more and more that I talked to Lance, I felt comfortable and it, it was just easy and stress-free. And, uh, and yeah, I mean, it was, it was pretty much done after that. I mean, you know, I knew from kind of that moment there was, there was no going back. Um, this is honestly like the best case scenario ever. And um, yeah, that's kind of the story of how Lance and I met. And um, you'll get to see the journey of how everything came about, but I'm pretty excited about it. And just want to say, I love you, babes. It's been, it's been an amazing ride from the beginning. So here we are. That's the story.